Hello and welcome to my online video. In this video, I will show you how to find and correct geometry defects in your CAD models. These defects can not only inhibit translations, but also applications that use CAD data, such as finite element analysis and numerically controlled milling. Start by importing a file. In this case, we'll use an IGS file. In order to fix the errors, you need to find them first. Do this by clicking on the magnifying glass in the bottom corner of the work tab. CAD Doctor scans the model, looking for errors, and displays them in the category box. As you can see here, there are 13 missing faces, 7 gap edge and base surface errors, and 11 gap and loop errors. But lucky for us, we don't need to fix all these errors individually. Instead, we will use automatic healing. There are two phases of automatic healing, auto stitch and auto heal. And it's important to know how to use both. Many times an IGS file will contain free edges that are not stitched together. To fix these free edges, Elysium recommends using auto stitch first to tie the free edges together. This tool creates a solid model with no loose ends. To execute auto stitch, click the middle button here. The auto stitch dialog appears, displaying the total number of free edges that are in the model. And I could change the stitch tolerance, but for now, I'll stick with one tenth of a millimeter. When I click the try button, CAD Doctor finds all the free edges and tells me the number of free edges that could not be stitched based on the tolerance I selected. And it also asks for my final consent before fixing these errors. When I click fix, CAD Doctor works its magic and updates the category box. Notice that a lot of the errors were fixed despite not necessarily being labeled free edge. To fix the remaining errors, we will bring out the big guns and run auto heal by clicking the button with the red arrow. A dialog box appears displaying the target system and lists the available export file types. I click OK and watch CAD Doctor work its magic once again. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to fix defects when auto heal can't fix them all. 